देर इज पाकिस्तान तहरीक इंसाफ इज नॉट अ पार्टी बिफोर अस नॉट अ सिंगल वन ऑफ द इलेक्टेड कैंडिडेट आर अ पार्टी बिफोर अस दे वेदर द इलेक्शन कमीशन ऑफ पाकिस्तान वॉज इरोनियस और करेक्ट द फैक्ट इज दैट दे चैलेंज वर्चुअली एवरी थिंग इन पाकिस्तान वाई वॉज दैट डिसीजन नॉट चैलेंज वी मस्ट नॉट set up different cases from the ones that have been pleaded the party before us is the sunni ittehad council if you now it i shouldn't do it but since it's being said and it has been widely televised the earlier case that was heard this had been even observed from this bench by myself if somebody bothers to go and check the record it will be somewhere in the ether you can see it that is not the case before us the case before us is of sunni ittehad council saying that give me reserve seats and give me non muslim seats there is no pti before us saying give me these seats there is no candidate before us which is saying there is only candidate who is a potential candidate which is doesn't know even come in the future she is not a elected person so why are we having this debate I, this is not the case before us i mean if pti felt that way they have elected to cast all their eggs with the sunni ittehad council they have elected to sail with them how can we say no we'll take you out and we'll give you something which you have not even asked or you not bothered to come nor have you challenged fine election commission makes good decisions election commission may also make bad decisions there is a whole legal process now if we can, we cannot observe without anyone challenging something that certain decision is bad of the election commission and if it was bad come forward and challenge it now i don't know where this why we having this discussion when there is no pti no none of the elected <laughs> candidates who were previously in the pakistan tehreek e istiqlal before us this question and it's not suddenly come up this petition has been well uh, uh, everybody knows about this petition so i i don't see why are we having this debate if they were before us if there was this was an issue they didn't go to the pishar high court they didn't do anything and the only person who's aggrieved before us is the sunni ittehad council saying these are my candidates now we have to either accept their contention or reject their contention and uphold the judgment of the high court as simple as that now why did they do this whether there was pressure whether there was no pressure i will not go on any premise or conjecture i go on facts as demonstrated by documents if there are facts as demonstrated by documents please argue it the whole world may know about something that's not the way judges operate judges operate by what comes before them in a pleading that's how they operate otherwise you say oh he committed murder i know it no we'll see the evidence that comes before the court of law that will be the determinate determining factor so why are we having this because i don't see here answer from you and why are we going into this conjectural thing if this may have happened or if this they have chosen that that's what i was from day one concerned why are, is pti not coming forward they chosen not to they think they've got they think i don't know forever i don't want to speculate what they think my lord uh, may Sir i Mardu, uh, so, no can you can you respond my lord just yes. add to that question so why we having this debate is because it is not relevant what party is before us as the apex court don't you think it's our responsibility to protect the rights of the electorate there are millions of people who voted so the right to vote is sacrosanct and that has to be protected <laughs> then i would then so i the would right say my vote, i haven't finished it <laughs> okay. so the right of vote has to be looked into if the right of vote has been deprived from a particular political party it is for the apex court to look into it so it's a very basic question that people voted for some candidate dates who, who submitted their nomination papers as pti uh, affiliates how did the election commission come up and say you're independent that is the starting point of the debate because millions of voters out there voted for these people and as an apex court don't you think we need to look at their interest and their right to vote i mean how was that right taken away and a person declared to be independent by ecp when ecp had no such power and then all the things start from there then you get into the sic and whatever but the question is how were they declared independent when they never opted out of that affiliation with the pti 
I, Mr. Mardum Ali Khan, today I was reminded of the oath which I gave to three judges. Nowhere it says, it simply says abide by the constitution and the law. And that's what I'm doing. And that's what my legal constitutional duty is. I, there are many concerns in society who addresses those I don't know. That's not my concern. My concern is to simply follow the constitution and the law. And what, uh, yeah, Where is yeah, the electorate yeah, mentioned in the yeah, oath? I add to this, in my speaking for myself, the most fundamental right is the right to vote. And if the constitution has to be upheld, it is implicit in the constitution that the elections must be genuine and the people must have trust and confidence in the integrity of the electoral process. Here serious questions have been raised and there is a petition. We have been informed pending in this court raising questions about the process of elections. Now, we cannot just sit in a bubble, mm. and I absolutely uh, concur with Justice Man Mansoor Ali Shah that it is a very, very serious and fundamental issue. If the Constitution has to be upheld, then it is our duty to also ensure that the it was, there was no political engineering, the elections were genuine. If they were not genuine, then I'm afraid the constitution has also been violated and we would also be violating our oaths. My Lord, may I say... As, as per my understanding, as we are sitting here under Article 195.3, we must go with that article. We are hearing an appeal. All other matters are maybe uh, under 184.3 or any other provision of the Constitution. But what needs is by the Council and the Court that go in accordance with the provision of the Constitution and hear and appeal and decide that. ये मकदूम साहब इसमें ये 168 पेज पे ये डेक्लेरेशन है ये फॉर्मेट है जो के और ये ऑन ओथ है 168 पे जो इसके एक एक पैराग्राफ बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है और ये सलमान अकरम राजा साहब का एफिडेविट है जो के सोर्न किया गया बिफोर एन ओथ कमिश्नर तो इसके अंदर नंबर 1 जो आ रहा है आई द अबव मेंशन कैन यू हियर बाय डिक्लेअर ऑन ओथ उसके बाद जो तीन लाइंस है वो बड़ी इंपॉर्टेंट है उसके बाद उसने अपनी उन्होंने अपनी पार्टी एफिलिएशन का को मेंशन किया है फिर और उसके वो तमाम कैंडिडेट्स ने इसी फॉर्मेट को फॉलो किया होगा ये ऑन ओथ है और इसमें आर्टिकल 62 63 का भी रेफरेंस है कि अगर वायलेट करते हैं 